Well, welcome back to Hardball. Symbolism is often in the eye of the beholder. And in New Rochelle, New York, a veterans group has filed a federal lawsuit against the city partly over the symbolism of the famous Gadsden flag. The yellow flag with its rattlesnake and phrase, don't tread on me, was a symbol of the American Revolution. But in recent years, the Gadsden flag has been flown by some attendees at Tea Party rallies. And although it's certainly not a formal symbol, the flag has become associated with the Tea Party in some quarters. But in March, shortly after a local veterans group replaced the tattered American flag at the local armory with a new American flag and a Gadsden flag flying underneath it, city officials ordered it taken down. In response, the United Veterans Memorial and Patriotic Association of New Rochelle filed a federal lawsuit. Moises Valencia is a citizen volunteer with the Save Our Armory Committee. He actually purchased and gave the Gadsden flag to the veterans group. Peter Applebaum is the Our Town columnist for the New York Times who wrote about the conflict. Moises, are you a Tea Party guy? No, I've never been a member of the Tea Party. I'm not affiliated with any political uh, group of that nature. Why this flag? You shelled out, according to Peter's account, $16 of your own money to, to get a Gadsden flag where there hadn't been one. Why this flag? I always like the Gadsden flag because to me it symbolizes our human unalienable rights that all of us as Americans and as humans uh, possess. And to me it was something that always spoke to me as part of American history that I'm very fond of and I'm a, a historian of American history, so that's why. To whom, if anyone, were you trying to send the don't tread on me message? Uh, I was trying to send the message specifically to our mayor, uh, Noam Bramson, if there was any message to be sent. Uh, mayor Bramson has had a long history of disrespecting our veterans here in Nourishelle and also our military history. He's leveled um, uh, Fort Slocum that we had in Nourishelle, that's completely gone, and the armory in Nourishelle is our last bit of remaining history and they have not treated that place very fairly. It's um, very bad condition. And they've done everything that they could short of tearing it down to actually make sure that it's in as poor a shape as possible. Peter, your piece, which I shared with my radio audience, really struck a chord all across the country. People calling and were passionate mm -hmm. on both sides of this issue. What's the big picture that you the see? Big, the big picture is just how polarized we become as a country. Even, even five years ago, there would be no dispute over this. But, but rightly or wrongly, you know, if you call up, if you Google um, Tea Party flag, this is what comes up. Right. So for a lot of people, there's a, there's a charge to this flag. Now, there wasn't. It's a, it's a conservative symbol. And I think that's what the city was getting at. A, a friend of mine who owns a tavern in Old City, Philadelphia, uh -huh. close to Independence Hall, the Liberty Bell, Betsy Ross, used to fly it outside his establishment uh -huh. and then told me he felt obliged to take it down when it became this symbol because right. he didn't want to lose half of his audience. Right. There have been dis disputes all around the country, in Arizona, in Connecticut, in Rhode Island, over this very same issue. And again, this was an issue, that a, a, a flag that a few years ago had no connotation other than history and patriotism, but now it's part of the American culture and political wars. Moises, the, the armory is municipal space. It was deeded over from the state. What would you say to someone who says, I feel alienated by that flag because of its association flying on public space? Well, what I would say to the person is that you have to uh, look into what the context of our uh, ceremony we held was. You have to see what we were trying to do, what the flag really symbolizes. And I believe that, you know, we can all come together under that meaning of unalienable rights and that if we have a dialogue, we can see that it's not as partisan as some people would like to make it. And to your point, there was a 5-2 to two vote taken, your point of polarization, 5-2, along party lines, right. the D said get rid of it and the R said keep it. Right, right. And, you know, the legal question will really come down to something that actually has very little to do with the meaning of the flag, which is whether it's government speech or whether it's private speech. It's a, it's a city-owned armory and a city-owned flagpole, and the veterans group is chartered by the city. So if a court concludes that uh, this is essentially government speech, then they have very broad powers to say what they will allow and what, what they won't allow. You obviously think there's an important principle at stake here that necessitates litigation to resolve whether this flag can fly over the armory. Uh, well, yes, because of the fact that the veterans organization is chartered by the city and they have been in charge of doing things like this in the past and they've been allowed to uh, choose what they have flown in the past. Our city government has been at Memorial Day services where that flag was flown. This has become a political uh, issue and it's being made one when there really isn't one. Peter, uh, just uh, 30 seconds or so left, what kind of a reaction have you gotten to your piece? Did you get the same sort of passion that I heard on the yeah, airwaves? Because, you know, aside from the fact that we're so polarized, this is a symbol that goes back to the beginning of the country. 
and has a huge historical charge as well as the contemporary issues. So yeah, people are very passionate. Part of me it. says if, if you don't like what the symbol has become, you know, fight for the right to take it back. Well, absolutely. You know, because I was thinking, there are a lot of aggrieved people in America and, um, and a lot of people feel don't tread on me. It tends to be conservatives that use this flag. Maybe liberals should too. It's a great issue. Moises, thank you for being here. Peter, thank you, thank you for, for writing about it. Okay, thanks so much. Thank you. When we return